to 90 Seconds Healthcare. This is Sam. Uh, the topic today is briefly on CT calcium score. What is it? When do we use it? How can it be helpful? Uh, very briefly, the CT calcium score is a test that we conduct in our institutions and others where the person, the patient, comes in into the CT scanner which is actually open from both sides. So even for people who are uh, somewhat uh, claustrophobic, it's very well tolerated. The X-ray exposure is very reasonable and there is no contrast dye. So we don't use any dye. There is no dye in the CT calcium score. And I'm talking specifically about the CT coronary cardiac heart uh, calcium score. The test takes very few minutes. It uh, doesn't need any special prep. It can be conducted very safely and it's a screening test to assess the risk of the patient to have ischemic heart disease or heart disease in the arteries. This test is not typically indicated for people who have chest pain. If people have chest pain, then we do other tests, either functional tests like exercise ECG test, exercise echo test, exercise nuclear test, or we can do the CT coronary angiogram, which has the contrast dye. That's different. Our focus today very briefly is on the CT calcium score. Typically we do it in patients or persons who are between the age of 40 to 70. Typically it's not when they have chest pain. Typically it's only as a screening test for their risk. It adds value in assessing the risk of the patient to have heart disease. So remember our videos on A, awareness. So that's kind of adding awareness be the blood pressure so if they have hypertension that's a risk c is the cigarette smoking the cholesterol b diabetes e exercise or not exercising and stress we spoke about this before so that adds value in that if the score is zero the risk of the patient having heart disease or heart event becomes less it's not zero we still can have a fresh plaque but it tells us when it is more than zero that there is the beginning or higher levels of hardening of the blood vessels. And some people put it as above zero to 100 as being mild, uh, 100 to 300 moderate and above 300 severe, but these may vary a little bit between labs. It does add value in that it tells you that your risk of having a cardiac event or heart event is higher. It may help your doctor decide whether you need aspirin or not. It uh, would change the uh, level of low density lipoprotein or cholesterol that we're aiming at. For example, if we're aiming at a number X, it will be lower and it depends on the case uh, uh, in depending on which society guidelines you're, you're uh, referring to. It may help you also figure out uh, that you need to be more strict, more engaged, more intensify your cardiovascular risk prevention and also it educates us as we move along. Now, even if you take a drug called statin, which is a drug that lowers the cholesterol, do not be surprised if the score goes up a little bit because that means that your plaque is stabilizing. It means that your blood vessel became more stable. But it is helpful and it's recommended by many guidelines to do it. So in summary, the CT coronary calcium score is a simple test. It doesn't take much time to do it. There is no contrast. The X-ray exposure is very acceptable. It is not done for treating or diagnosing patients who have chest pain. It's done for people who have no cardiac symptoms, no chest pain, typically no shortness of breath or palpitation. It is a screening test, like what we do in checking your blood pressure, taking your vital signs, checking your cholesterol level, it does supplement and gives us another way of risk stratifying you. And if we're addressing your risk factors such as blood pressure or more importantly, cholesterol, we may aim at lower levels of cholesterol if you have calcification. Again, go ask your uh, primary care doctor or your cardiologist, your healthcare provider, whether CT coronary calcium score is for you and if it is the case, follow what your doctor is recommending. Stay safe, stay informed, and stay healthy. Thank you.